members, students from across the Miami Valley will head back to the classroom in just a few weeks. But some schools have a number of vacant teaching positions that they still need to be filled. Two News reporter Leah Seabrooks spoke of the local school leadership ahead of the upcoming school year. She's from uh, she's joining us from Riverside and Aliyah has the latest. Classes will be underway in just a few weeks for some students in the Miami Valley. Today I spoke with schools to see what challenges they are facing to attract new teachers and fill vacant positions before the school year starts. Anytime that there is a position to fill, that is a process to go through to find a quality candidate. Fairborn City Schools Assistant Superintendent Amy Gayhart says they are now becoming more creative in how they work to attract applicants for their vacant teaching positions. Many of those vacancies created by teachers who left the field altogether. And months later, those positions still haven't been filled. But we are, we're leaving no stone unturned at this point. If there is an option or an opportunity, we're pursuing those, even if it may be a more non-traditional route. Gayhart says one of the biggest challenges for schools is to fill positions that don't provide full-time working hours, citing examples like crossing guards and noon duty aides. At Matt River Local Schools, Superintendent Chad Wien says they are 100% filled with no vacancies for their teaching positions. However, he says the district still is facing major challenges with attracting teaching candidates from outside of the Dayton area and filling substitute teacher roles. This year, the district made pay for substitute teachers more competitive. Um, we actually upped our sub pay rate to $175 per day for substitute teachers to make that attractive. Wean says while the district does not have teaching shortages at the moment, it is a priority to maintain the employees currently working. But he says candidate pools are shallow for positions like bus drivers and professional aides. But oftentimes recruiting bus drivers, for example, you're, you're just pulling from another school district. You can find more information on how to work with Matt River Local Schools and Fairborn City Schools on our website, WDTN.com. In Riverside, Aaliyah Seabrooks, 2 News.